Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design truss or tubular connections within RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is capable of designing truss connections for joints of a variety of different configurations including K joints, Y joints, and X joints using the configurations you see on your screen. In this video we will be focusing on the design workflow for a Y style joint that's already been created in RAM Connection Standalone. We will now turn our attention to the RAM Connection Standalone application, where as you can see, we have several different types of truss joints that have already been created. For this particular video, we're gonna be focusing on joint number four, which is a typical Y joint configuration. To start the connection design process, let's go ahead and select joint number four. Go to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the assign icon. Now what we're gonna notice is that the program has successfully selected the appropriate filter for us, which is set right now to trusses. It's also given us an option of which type of truss connection would we like. A tubular truss, which would be basically a directly welded uh, connection type, or a gusset, which means we're basically gonna get a gusset connection with some connector plates. For this particular exercise, I'm gonna go with a CHB. This would be my tubular truss style connection. After selecting the connection template that I'm interested in, I'm now going to click on the assign button. RAM Connection Standalone has gone through the connection assignment process, so I'll go ahead and click Close. Now the first thing I'm going to do after assigning a connection template is take a look in the joint selection area. From this area, I should be able to see the status of the connection design. Here I can see that my interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and it is in green, meaning it passed all code checks without issuing any warnings. Now there is an important option that you wanna make sure you have selected when taking a look at the joint selection area. If I went to the home tab in the ribbon toolbar, I'm gonna to notice that this critical load condition icon is currently active. When this icon is active, the status of the connection in the joint selection area will be reported for the critical load condition and not just the currently selected load case. Now after performing the connection design, I may want to review my calculations, my DXF drawing, or make some changes. To do that, I'm gonna select the design tab of the ribbon toolbar, click on the edit icon, and then edit my truss connection. From here, this will activate the connection pad and I'll be able to see all the connection pieces that can be modified or customized. For this particular connection type, I could see that I can modify my welding electrodes, the weld type, and also the weld size. Now again, if I looked in the ribbon toolbar, I would see that I'm currently passing all connection checks, so I'm not going to make any modifications. I do, however, wanna take a look at my calculations. To do that, I can go up to the ribbon toolbar and click on the results icon. This will bring up the steel connection report. From this report, I'll be able to see all of the geometric considerations and the design checks that were performed, as well as their status. In addition to that, I will be provided the code references that were used to arrive at these results. Now, if I want some additional information regarding the calculations, I can click on this icon here. This is to view formulas in the report. What this will do is it'll show you all the equations and variables that were used to arrive at these results. Now, at this point, let's go ahead and close our report. Now, there's one last thing I wanna take a look at while still in the connection pad, and that is my DXF view. 
All connections within RAM Connection Standalone can be viewed in a DXF format. This DXF can be customized and exported directly from RAM Connection Standalone. Now, had I made any changes in the connection pad, I'd want to make sure I hit the save icon before leaving. For this particular connection, I didn't make any changes, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of the connection pad and then save my overall model. At this point, this concludes my process for assigning a tubular truss style connection to a Y joint in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.